oh gosh, I'm probably a morning person, which is not terribly good for an emergency physician. I get up at six o'clock pretty much every day. Um, I can work into the night, but I just like to get up early in the morning and start work, get some things done before breakfast, and then the rest of the day is your own. The song that helps you relax. Gosh, to relax. Wait one. <laughs> Gosh, to relax. It's not so much a song. If I actually wanted to relax, I would listen to classical music. Before I was a doctor, I wanted to be a musician. I wanted to be a flautist, but I wasn't good enough to be a flautist, so I had to do medicine instead. So I would go back and listen to something like Mozart's first flute concerto. How many hours do you sleep a day? Oh, now that's really interesting because I think sleep is incredibly important. So I do a lot to try and get myself to have at least seven hours of sleep every night. Now, sometimes we can't do that when we're on call, and that's okay. I try and make it up. But there's a great book out there called Why We Sleep. It will change the way you think about sleep forever. It's brilliant for learning, health, everything. You have to sleep. You have to sleep. What did you want to be when you grew up? So a couple of things. Um, when I was younger, I wanted to be a pilot, and I still think that's a great job. I think I might have quite enjoyed being a pilot. Um, later on, I wanted to be a flautist. I wanted to be a professional musician, but sadly, I was not good enough to be so. Which team are you a fan of? So my grandfather played for Manchester City. So my family plays for Manchester City. If you've got time for the full story, he was six foot six. He was a goalkeeper. And people ask me if I can play football because he was such a good footballer. He wasn't. He was a terrible footballer. He was just very good at stopping other people play football. Who is the biggest influencer on you and why? There are a number. Um, if you're thinking historically in my profession, it's some of the amazing clinicians in Manchester when I was a, when I was a medical student and later as a junior doctor. There are many, but I would name uh, Tony Redmond, Kevin McCoy-Jones, Pete Driscoll as really influential people, both academically, clinically, and personally. What is the most important lesson you learned as an emergency physician? I think it's being able to work with uncertainty. A lot of the decisions that we make are time critical and information light. So it's working in that area of probability and uncertainty that's what makes us emergency physicians, and I think those are the lessons which have made me a better clinician over the years. The hardest thing about being an emergency physician is? Uh, the hardest thing is probably the hours and the, the need to keep up to date in a very broad specialty. So you've got so many things to look at and so many things to keep up to date with. The best thing about being an emergency physician is? <laughs> we have the best stories. It's the coolest job in medicine. What else do you need?